final round action of the McKenzie Investments Open outside of Montreal, just one event remaining in the season after this tournament. Jordan Niebrugge for Eagle on the 17th, par 5, 539 yards. Beautifully done. That to get him to 15 under overall. He'd finish with a 69-T8. Dawson Armstrong, big mover today, climbed 18 spots of the leaderboard. Putts like that help for birdie on the par 5 fourth, would finish with a 7 under 65 T8. Zach Wright from behind the tree on the par 4 ninth, his second shot on the 418 yard hole. Great recovery shot, gets it to stick quickly. Has this left for birdie. Makes it, he'd finish the day with the 66. T3 stays at number two in the order of merit. George Cunningham on the par 5 17th for birdie. Low round of the day. That to get to eight under overall would finish with a 64, move up 10 spots. Corey Pereira, third round co-leader with this on the second hole to open birdie, birdie. He'd eventually end the day tied with this guy, Blake Olson for birdie on the ninth. That to get to four under for his round. Olsen and Pereira head to the first playoff hole, number 18. Here's Olsen's third shot on the par four. Has that left for par? The Georgia Southern University grad looking for his first pro victory. Clutch. Pereira still has a long birdie attempt from off the green. Here he is on the first playoff hole. Pereira won last month at the ATB Financial Classic for his first victory. He has this putt left for par to extend the playoff. Just misses. So that means Blake Olson becomes the winner of the McKenzie Investments Open, earning his first professional victory. First McKenzie Tour win moves from 42nd to 8th in the order of merit with just one tournament remaining this season.